my name's Tori. For those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection vlog. Roll the intro! <laughs> Okay, so just a couple of basic things. Let's take care of some business. First of all, in the beginning of August, August 6th through the 8th, we have the International Wizard of Oz Club to Oz Festival. I have an interview with Tiffany Sutton, who is also known as Follow the Yellow Brick Girl on Instagram, so please go and check that out. There are going to be all kinds of amazing presentations, including an interview of Jessica Grove that Ryan Jay and I did together, which is gonna be super exciting if you don't know who she is. She's this girl! who starred opposite Mickey Rooney and Eartha Kitt in the Madison Square Garden production of The Wizard of Oz, which was absolutely like life-changing. I waited till after she rang off before I started crying. And it's gonna be an amazing event, so definitely come check that out. Also, the last weekend in August, I will be in Macon, Missouri for the Wizard of Oz Days Festival. Go check all of that out, guys, and please join us. It's gonna be lots and lots of fun, but on to Oz. Today, I was listening to Down the Yellow Brick Pod. I'm a few episodes behind, and I heard this. She had to find it out for herself. And it reminded me of, since I um, was just editing Tori's Slipper Hood episode, um, what Tori said. Yes. Of, um, yes, yes, yes. The pandemic sort of framed for Tori being on her own with her daughter as a single mom and not, and people, family members couldn't really visit. Like she had to find out for herself that she was strong enough to like, take care of her daughter and do life and work unbelievably um, inspiring please like listen, you are dorothy tori so yeah it reminded me of that beautiful you guys made me cry when i heard that and i just want to say thank you so much for me what that scene really signifies the ruby slippers are an agent of change right so they are self-actualization in the hands of the wicked witch of the west they are a weapon because her form of self-actualization is being all powerful so in her hands they're dangerous in dorothy's hands or on her feet her tool of self-actualization is finding out who she is so when she wears them they lead her to her true friends and to her true home and that's been my journey as well so i just want to thank you guys again for the shout out and for being so amazing if you guys are not listening to down the yellow brick pod please head over to the link in the description and do that they have a patreon and they are incredible they have all kinds of exclusive things so please become patrons of theirs if you can and thank you again for just being so inspirational i love you guys you're amazing so let's talk about a couple of new things in the collection. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are fans of the San Francisco Music Box Company's Wizard of Oz collection, and I am no exception to that. I love their stuff, and I was able to obtain a new one this week. It's the Winky Chase Music Box, and it's super detailed. I love their stuff because of how well made it is. It's consistent across the board how well made their stuff is, how detailed it is, how fun it is. And this one plays the Winky March. So I would say the only downsides to the San Francisco Music Box collection is typically that their stuff is rather large and takes up a lot of real estate, but also very fragile and super expensive. So if you're in the market for one of these larger pieces, you're dropping probably between 90 and and $100. So I would say that's a downside, but I really like the way they display and the way they look, and I'm very sentimentally attached to the horse of a different color one because it's the one piece that my grandpa purchased for me and he's now dead. So I like to, I like to think back to that day and remember when he got it for me because that was a really nice thing that he did. So thanks, Grandpa, and um, yeah, I really like that new piece. Also picked up a few Ardley Elliott music boxes. And what I really like about these is that they have these really intricately carved bases that just are super detailed and really fun. And they each play music. 
Um, they have little tops that come off and then the music box function is on the inside. The only downside, unfortunately, is that they're super fragile. Um, this one is fine, but this one and this one came broken. And I think that's my bad. I don't think that's the bad of the seller. I think they were already broken and I just didn't notice when I purchased. But I like the way that they look, so I think I'm going to do my best to finish the set. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I really like these. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is the film Ozland, which is available on Amazon Prime if you're interested in watching. A little while ago we did a live watch along on Facebook on the International Wizard of Oz Club Facebook page and we watched that together. The director, Michael Williams, recently saw my watch along of the movie and reached out to say that he saw it and that he was grateful for the feedback. It's actually, so I was pretty critical of it when we watched it because it does meander a bit in the beginning, but I loved the way it wrapped up and I loved the ultimate message of it. And he was kind enough to send me this care package that I want to share with you guys. So he was kind enough to send me the original soundtrack. Super cool. A copy of the film on Blu-ray, which I didn't have, so I'm super grateful to have that. And a lovely postcard, you know, sending a greeting and explaining what this last thing is. And this is the thing that to me is just like blowing my mind. This is a piece of the actual set of the door from the finale of Ozland. And he explains in detail what this is because it has significance to his family as well. I'm just so unbelievably humbled that he sent this to me. But he says here, quote, It was originally used for a shipping container for a local World War II ammunition factory then recycled to be used for my grandparents garage and finally reused in Ozland. So this piece of wood has seen the world. This was used in World War II. This was used in the home of grandparents who I'm assuming Mr. Williams is sentimentally attached to because he included a piece of their garage in his film and now it is here in the Oz collection and I'm just so unbelievably humbled that this exists in my world. Like this is crazy and I just want to say a sincere and humble and grateful thank you to him for this amazing package and for this piece of Wizard of Oz history which I'm so grateful for and will be well loved and looked after. So thank you so much for that. So have you guys seen Ozland? If you haven't, please go check it out on Amazon Prime. If you have, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of it? Again, I just feel so humbled and grateful that I have this in the collection and as I promised, it will be well looked after and loved and cared for. So thank you again so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see here, go ahead and give a thumbs up for more and please follow the links down below for for TikTok, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. We are everywhere. Instagram. Oh, and our TikTok has kind of blown up a little bit. Like the video I posted about Dorothy's dress has like 70,000 views somehow. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't really understand the platform. I'm learning. But if you aren't watching us on TikTok, go give it a look and let me know what I can do better because you can always do better. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.